This is George from High Tech Legion. Recently we've been seeing a great spike in gamers using SLI and Crossfire. We're also seeing a huge increase in concerns with efficiency. We're seeing more efficient components, but we're seeing more components added to the system. This goes the same for power supplies as far as the efficiency. Uh, we're looking at power supplies that are getting more and more efficient all the time with much better voltage regulation. So, what we have here is a need for more power with greater efficiency. Today we're going to take a look at a power supply that meets those needs, the 850 watt 80 plus gold Cooler Master V850. Getting our first look at the V850, as you can see it comes in a fairly typical Cooler Master box. A really nice picture of the unit on the front and the main specs right on the front. 80 plus gold, fully modular cables, um, easy cable management, 135 millimeter FDB, uh, FDB high quality fan, and 100% Japanese capacitors. Now there are a couple of features that are not listed on the box that are probably a couple of the most important features of the power supply itself. Uh, Cooler Master claims that the 12 volt rail on the V850 will stay within 1% at all times up to full load. That is uh, really a staggering regulation, uh, something we haven't seen much in any other type of power supply. Second thing is, when 80 plus titanium is released, the V850 is ready for the tag. Uh, that means that the V850 is over 90% efficient at a 10% load, which is where your computer spends most of its time. So, moving around, get a look at a couple more features here. We've got a uh, picture of the fan curve laid out very nicely as you can see it stays at a very very low level until you get to about 80 percent of power supply usage and then it is going to ramp up so you're going to get very good silence uh, especially during normal operation it's going to be very very quiet also you've got your efficiency curve that you see right here and basically what you're looking at uh, is it does stay over 90 percent through the entire load and especially uh, going down here strangely the it reads backwards. Uh, under low load, you get great efficiency, as you see, uh, especially two, if you've got a 230 volt input, but that's always gonna be the case, but even with a one, uh, 110 or 115, you're gonna get fantastic efficiency from the unit. Uh, you've got your cable layout right here, motherboard 20 plus four, one CPU, four plus four, PCI uh, Express, six plus twos, you've got six of them, nine uh, SATA cables, eight four pin peripherals, and or I should say four, four pin peripherals and one floppy drive connector that you see right there. Now, getting onto the unit itself, really nice looking power supply as you can see. Very, very heavy by the way, I should say very nicely built, really nice case on it. Silver, um, brushed aluminum around the fan itself with the Cooler Master logo in the center. Moving over to the side, you get the V850 logo right here as well as the Cooler Master logo. Your fully modular setup is right here. Interesting note about this, um, as you can see, the uh, motherboard connector right here actually uses two separate connectors on the power supply side. It's not laid out in the manual, so you will want to keep that in mind when you're uh, actually wiring up. You're going to be left with this stray cable from your motherboard uh, connector, and it goes right here. You've got your CPU connectors, PCI Express, and all your peripherals right across the side. On the other side, once again, Cooler Master logo, so whether you're mounting um, top side or bottom side on the fan, you're going to get your logo right side up. On the top, as you can see, Cooler Master logo, once again, with your power supply or uh, with your power outputs laid out right here. Big note here, 70 amps, 840 watts on the single 12 volt rail. So you've got a lot of power to that 12 volt rail, good amperage, very, very strong, powerful uh, power supply. And going around the back, very simple, the entire back of the unit itself is actually meshed. So you're going to get great airflow through it. Simple on off switch and power connector right there and your screw holes for mounting. Once again, 100% Japanese capacitors. Even looking through also the um, mesh in the back, you can see there's a good amount of heat sinks in there. So you are going to wind up with uh, very good cooling, which is going to enable the fan to spin a lot lower, so for a lot less noise, so you're going to get a much more silent computing experience. Moving over to the accessories, get a multilingual uh, user's guide. Um, 
basically descriptions of your connectors with all the pin outputs, which is very nice. Uh, we haven't seen that very often. Once again, your power output chart, simple mounting guide, obviously it's four screws. Um, there's no mention of wiring whatsoever and a uh, little bit more info you know, just on the features and whatnot. I shouldn't say more info, it's exactly the same as what's on the box. So very, very basic guide. But once again, it's a power supply, four screws in and probably know how to wire it up. Uh, 16 gauge power supply cable for the wall socket. So not 18 gauge, 16 gauge, so a little bit heavier. Get a bag, as you can see, with drawstring up top for the power supply itself for storing the power supply if you're ever going to store it. And finally, you've got your bag full of cables with an included case. All the front, it's a nice tough bag and the cables inside themselves. As you can see, all flat ribbon except for motherboard cable which has nice black sleeving and black cable right up to the all black connectors themselves. Uh, very nice, gives you a nice um, uniform look to your cables themselves. This way you don't have you know yellow ends sticking out to blue on uh, your cables. So you get a nice look in the case. Now you may or may not like flat cables, but these are some of the best cables we've uh, seen as far as flat cables to work with as far as routing. Um, one thing you do notice is that on the peripheral cables, you don't get mixes of your peripherals. What I mean by that, for example, the um, four pins, two four pins on one cable. On the other one, you get the two four pins plus the floppy. Your SATAs are four SATAs on the cable, or I should say three SATAs on each cable. Uh, there's no mixing. You don't have three SATAs and a four pin, which would be ideal if you're running, say, uh, three hard drives, or you know SSD to uh, data drives, any configuration that's going to use three SATAs plus a fan controller. You only have to run one cable. In this case, you will have to run two cables. Uh, only knock I can possibly think of on the cabling itself. So the V850 makes some lofty claims as far as performance, especially that uh, one percent tolerance on the 12 volt rail. So we're going to throw it in the case, uh, crank up the wattage, and see exactly how it performs. So I did a little poking around on some of the more popular sites where you can mail order the V850 and the pricing on the V850 falls right in line with a top end 80 plus uh, power supply. Very very typical pricing, very average. However, what's not typical or average that you just saw in those benchmarks was the performance. It was absolutely outstanding. Cooler Master's claims of a 1% tolerance on the 12 volt rail were absolutely spot on. It never strayed below 12.19 volts on the 12 volt rail, even under the heaviest loads. Secondary rail's performance was just as good. It didn't just stay within specs, it stayed within rated power. A uh, low of 5.01 on the 5 volt rail and 3. Point, I believe it was 3.2 on the uh, 3.3 uh, 3 .3 volt rail. So you're not just staying within spec, it is delivering the power it says it's going to deliver, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, as I say, the only possible knock you're going to have is the layout on the cables themselves. You can't knock the cables, even if you're not a fan of flat cables, they're very, very nicely constructed cables, look fantastic in the case, and they're easy to work with. Uh, the layout, like I say, I would have liked to have seen some mixes uh, on the cables which would allow me to run less cables within the case. But all in all, the V850 is an easy editor's choice winner. Typical price, however, not typical performance. Really a home run from uh, Cooler Master and a very, very solid entry into the power supply market.